Hey, how are you doing? We're Kate and Stevie and this is How You Doing Wrapped, where we summarise our year, we share with you guys our favourite tracks, our favourite concerts we went to, our favourite idols that we've met. 2022 has been wild for us. I think K-pop has been insane this year, but also for us like professionally, it's been insane. And as a special treat for you guys watching, there is a link in our bio to three free months of Amazon Music Unlimited. So go and check that out, it's for a limited time only. Favourite title track of the year. Both gem girl groups have been killing it. Anti-Fragile is amazing. Mm -hmm. After Like, I think might be up there for me for one of my favourite songs of the I year. I love that like, song. It's amazing. Kepler, Wadada. Da. And then obviously 80s had Gorilla. Insane. Hello is actually one of my like favourite songs. Like it's so it's so old school K-pop. Mm. Oh I love I do love Hello. Love me like Omega X. I freaking love Jam. that. That was right at the start of the dum, year. Da, 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 da. Hey! <laughs> dum da, da, da by P1 Harmony. That was an absolute oh, classic. Four five eight CIX. Yes! yes. <laughs> In the Ferrari. <laughs> Such a jam. <gasps> okay. My favourite girl group track of the year is After Like by Ive. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing. And my favourite boy group track of the year is Hello by Treasure and Gorilla by 80s. I know they're two very different songs but I can't pick. For me, I think Wild Wild Out by Kepler is up there as number one girl group song. Boy group. Oh my god, it's so difficult. <laughs> to be fair, I had Doom to Doom on repeat. Dun, da, da, da. Like okay, as soon as someone says Yeah, like you can't good. not. Like that but but then again like same with like Gorilla just blew me away. Dum 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 P1 Harmony and 80s Gorilla. I also loved Attention by New Jeans and That That by Psy. Oh my god, that that was yeah. Yeah. Oh and sexy Luke. And also Cheers by Seventeen. There's but, too many good songs. Yeah, like how are you meant one. to pick one? So much has happened this year. Yeah. Oh awesome is so good. No, do you know what? All of the above are the best. Favourite B-side? Cyberpunk is definitely up there. I know my favourite B-side of the year. Oh. I know my favourite B-side of the year. My Bag by Idol. Oh. I listened to that on repeat after, like I'd never heard it before. We like hadn't checked out Idol's new comeback before we saw them at um, K-Pop Flex in Frankfurt, mm. but they performed uh, My Bag and like it was amazing live. And mm -hmm. immediately after that, it went straight on my playlist, and I literally have not stopped listening to it all year. Like, actually, I think it's going to be in my top ten, probably. Yeah. I know that it was only recent, but I do think that Cyberpunk is my favourite B-side. Yeah. Like, I I just can't stop listening to it. Really nice live performance as well. Yeah, really good, really nice. Favourite album? I'm going to have to say The World Ep 1 Movement. <laughs> and it's one of those albums where, like, there's an order... Don't put it on shuffle. Mm. Like, yeah, no, you, you are have meant to. to go through yeah. the journey yeah. of that song. It's a story. It tells a story, and it's a painful story, yeah. and it's a liberating story. I have found out that it's a very good playlist for boxing. My top album has to be Blackpink, Born Pink. Oh my! Like absolutely. What the heck? Yeah. Actually, when that first came out, I suddenly had a huge like girl boss era all of a sudden. Oh. And like literally on the way to work, like everywhere yes. I went, I was like blasting the entire album yeah. in my headphones, like constantly, and I just felt like indestructible. Yeah. Favorite music video? What has had like a good storyline? I mean, obviously the Gorilla one. Like the Gorilla music video is incredible. Absolutely yeah. incredible. And it's like everything that we wanted. Yeah. Because y you know we're obsessed with the theories. Yeah. So. I need to scroll through like reactions that we Yeah. Done. The same Send music video? What? Oh, and the oh, After Like video is really good as well. We didn't even mention one us with like songs like Same Scent. Oh, Same, same scent. scent. Same Scent is really good. Listen to it so much. Um, I loved Key's music video actually. Gasoline. Yet to come. Oh, Yet to come. That was a great music video because it had like loads of like things from their old videos in it. Jig Jin was this year! Yeah. Did you not hear me singing it? Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Jig Jin! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Don't Stop. I know it's technically a universe song. Oh, but, but that, that video! Do you know what? Favourite music video of the year. Don't Stop. Really? Hey, Don't Stop. Yeah. Oh, it's so oh, good. Don't Stop and Jig Jin. They your faves? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. There's so many I like. Tempest can't stop shining. I don't know what happened when we were watching that, but we, we really went through. We <laughs> went through so many emotions. Like we were like on a weird level, but it was very wholesome. I very much enjoyed watching that, and I haven't actually watched it in ages. I feel like no, I need to go back and like get that energy cute. back. 
like with the flowers and yeah. stuff. Oh, it was, it was so really cute. cute. I loved it. Favorite um, concert of the year. Individual concerts. Favorite of the year. Oh, we've been to Eric now. <laughs> Why are you even like making a list? I know what the answer is. We've seen more K-pop acts mm. this year than in our entirety of ten years as K-pop fans because so many people have come to the UK. Yeah. So, so thank you. Thank you for coming. For coming. Yes. So individual concerts. We've had Eric Nam, Eighties, Wano, W24. To be fair, there's been individual concerts a lot more than what we've even said, but we just mm. haven't been able to go to them. So the boys yeah. came this year. Uh, Dreamcatcher very recently. Mm. Um, Luna, 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 DPR. There's a lot that we missed actually. Yeah, so, there's loads. Yeah. I can't remember who it was. There's absolutely loads. It's crazy. Mm. Like, it has been a very, very, very busy year for K pop in Europe. It's been. And it's going to be the same next year, I'm sure of it. Yeah. But obviously, <laughs> our favourite was 80s. You can't make eye contact with 80s 50 times and it not be your favourite concert. It was a, a magical, magical. We went both nights, obviously. But the day that we were front row is literally like the best night of the year. Yeah. Like hands down. We have a vlog that is on about like 9k views now. Um, but don't let that deceive you because 8k a is us. I want to watch it right now, yeah. honestly. It was incredible. It was literally the best. Like, Not only final. are they incredible performers, but they know what good fan service is. Yeah, they That's do. Very great. But they're like, so they paid like... <laughs> 300 pounds for those tickets so <laughs> we'll make it worth yeah. that money yeah no honestly it, it's the best it's the best concert i've ever been to out yeah. of anything yeah. ever and i've never felt that way like in my core yeah. at, at a concert before no. like i i haven't experienced that level of no. excitement like when just before the curtain fell and as it was falling the my heart we can hear <laughs> you, you can hear <laughs> It was incredible. It was a show. So basically, to summarise, because I've been talking for about 100 years, um, 80s. Yeah, and it literally, if possible, gonna go to every year update when they come back. Yeah. Favourite festival. This is an interesting one Whoa. because it's brand new to us. Mm. Europe had never had festivals before. And when we say festival, if anyone was watching us that wasn't a K-pop fan and they were British, they would mm. be like, oh, Glastonbury, like, download, like, field, grass, mud, multiple stages. No. Like, a K-pop festival is just like a concert. A concert with multiple acts. We went to K-Pop Flex in Frankfurt, then Howie Pop Fest in London, and then we also had MIK Festival also in London. And we've seen the most insane amount of K-Pop acts all yeah. in one go. Yeah, it was mad. It's very overwhelming actually, because yeah. it's just like, it changes. It's just yeah. like group after group after group, and you're like, whoa, that is a lot. All amazing experiences for different reasons. Mm. I loved MIK especially the second day because it had like k hip-hop mm -hmm. it had like rappers and r&b and it was like a very different feeling from any of the concerts or festivals that we've yeah. ever been to before day two of mik was like amazing for me because mm -hmm. it was like a lot of my favorite like korean r&b type which we we don't get a lot of in this no. country like they don't come here very often so that was like amazing yeah for k-pop like how you pop fest and and k-pop flex were both amazing for different reasons. I think K-pop Flex, I know people have a lot of opinions on it and we don't disagree, but mm. the actual concert element was really, really good. Yeah. I think because it was like professionally organized by SBS, like the camera work was amazing in my opinion. Mm. And the stage was really cool. Like it, it looked beautiful. like one of the ones that you see in Korea. Yeah. Whereas like Harry Pop Fest was just a stage. Just a stage. Just, it was yeah. just Webley Arena like. So K-pop Flex, was actually the mo th the best concert. Yeah, I would agree. Like, and they had special stages and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think K-pop Flex was the best concert, and then Holly Pop Fest had like the coolest stuff in the day. I yeah, think. the best day. Yeah, even though it was sweltering it hot. It was so hot. Sweltering, but they had a red carpet. They had kind of promotional element 
uh, what was it called? Howie Town? Mm. Up around the corner, which you couldn't really do anything at. But then they had the stage there that the rookie groups, I think, were like doing stuff on, mm. which we didn't really see. What about lineup think... though? Oh, lineup wise, K pop fest and Howie Pop fest definitely had the best yeah. lineups. I, I think I preferred Howie Pop fest, except I like wish like Monster X were there. Yeah, and that we could have actually seen day two. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah, that's really annoying actually. And yeah, like, hey, it was the most hey, had... like a festival because it was yeah. on grass. Yeah, it was outside, and that did definitely add like an extra. Yeah, I really enjoyed like the vibe. Being... Yeah, yeah. But like the day two lineup was insane. Yeah, like I loved it so yeah. much. Oh, I don't know. It's really hard. Like it is I really love them hard. all for different reasons, yeah. but also they were all like they could definitely be improved for different reasons. Oh, definitely. I, I hope that they do more of them come back so we can keep seeing how they develop. Yeah, definitely. Excited to see how they grow. Yeah. So, interviews. We have started to do K-pop interviews. What's that about? Really weird that this is on our list at all. Yeah. And that we have quite a few to choose yeah. from. So, favourite... Hmm, let's like break up. Which is your favourite interview in terms of like the posted interview? Like, like on how our, it turned yeah, out. Yeah, like on our YouTube. Oh. Yeah. We actually started the year doing like it, it, they weren't they weren't K-pop idol interviews. No, I loved when, chatting with Ronnie. Yeah, yeah, that was really fun, and I did I did actually love how that one turned out. Yeah, I I very much enjoyed him doing a ending fairy. Yeah, <laughs> I think we need to do that in our K-pop yes, idol interviews. Yes, yeah, we should. Does. Like I love the P1 Harmony one. I think it's funny. I yeah. think even though we messed it up and it was our first yeah. one, like it actually turned out nice. I really like the way all our ones at High Pop Fest that we did in the press room turned out because they're all really short, but we found a way of editing them to kind of make it like a magazine style yeah. like quick one. Yeah. So what we filmed compared to what we put out, I think is the biggest like kind of improvement. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm really happy with all the High Pop Fest ones. Yeah. So I definitely agree with that. Like I, I, I like the punchiness of it, and I don't, yeah. I don't think it, in the end, I don't think it feels weird. And yeah, like. The contrast, like if you had seen how we filmed it, what we did, what we went we, through, what we went through to get there. It was a very hectic day. Very, very hectic. Weekend. Um, and it was in the blistering heat as well, yeah. so it was hard. But they came out fun. We were really happy with the end result in the end. Favorite one filming on the spot. I really enjoyed Paul Kim's mm. because we got to go backstage at Wembley Arena, so we had to like get like an artist pass, and we got like led through all the like backstage corridors. <laughs> and it's so weird because when groups perform, they like post first backstage, so. We're like seeing stuff from their photos and we're just walking down the corridor like, oh my god, <laughs> oh okay, yeah. and then we go in and Paul Kim's just really nice and really chill and we're just like, hello. And his whole team were lovely. Yeah. And they seemed to like enjoy watching us. Yeah, they were like the taking the photos of us yeah. interviewing. And they were like laughing and stuff, yeah. so yeah, that was really fun. But also W24. Loved, loved, loved interviewing W24. Mm. I literally missed them. Yeah, I, I miss do. them. I really miss them. <laughs> Every day. It was nice that we didn't have to like rush everything so much. Yeah. And we can this was the same um, for Paul Kim as well. Like mm. just having that extra time. And we didn't Chat. have a lot of time with Paul Kim. Like that no. was like 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Um but it was like the difference compared yeah. to that and then compared to CIX kept with people in harmony. Like Yes. It's just crazy. Yeah. And then we had even longer with W twenty four and it just it just like sets the scene and lets yeah. you like chill out. It really did. We kinda of, we had a bit where we weren't meant to have such a big break but that there was like rehearsals going on so we had literally like half an hour just chatting with them mm -hmm. and we got to know them it was in between two videos that we were filming so we did one video then we accidentally had a really long break mm -hmm. and we bonded yeah we did we bonded really and then nice. i think the second video was everyone was way more chill yeah. because we'd got to know them and yeah yeah, yeah definitely um so yeah like in terms w24 of if you're watching we miss, we miss you, you. <laughs> They were definitely my favourite to film, Paul Kim and W24. Behind the scenes tea. Oh, just in general? Yeah. <laughs> what do people not know about what went on? Oh, okay. There's a couple. There's a few. Um, can we say about the K-pop Flex? I think we can now. Okay. So at K-pop Flex, we didn't do any extra content. It was a very like, we interviewed people outside, like the K-pop fans and stuff, and we just made like a generic video. We didn't get any interviews, but we accidentally ended up in the artist green room. And when I say an accident, it was a complete accident. In fact, we actively tried to avoid it. Yeah. And it still happened anyway. Yeah, there was basically a staff member that was like, 
we were lost and they were mm. like this is where you need to go and we were like no, no it isn't. that's not correct <laughs> He was like, well, you go in there, you talk to this person, and they'll help you find the right place to go. And we were like, mm, okay. Like, it was our only option. We were in a random car park. We were completely yeah. lost. We had yeah. to and we were like, fine, we will. And then we got escorted into the artist green room. He, he comes over, and he's like, he's controlling all the SBS stuff, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's like, like the main. The main SBS man that was, like, sorting everything out comes to us, and he's all, like, chipper and happy. And he's like, hi. like, And we're just there stressed out my mind's like hi we're lost we're trying to get to the press room can you help us and he's like uh don't know to be honest no idea so we were still lost then someone <laughs> grabbed him mm. and went off and so we had to wait for him to come back so we were stood up for ages yeah just like frozen like oh no mm. this is a terrible mistake mm. and there were like staff members like chilling uh, idols coming back from <laughs> rehearsal yeah so on. we were stood there um, Ive came past us. Mm. Oh, and then like, was like, hey! Oh, you're so cute! <laughs> we like, oh. <laughs> no, no, we were, we we were, were chill. We were fine. But on internally, the outside. we were having a breakdown. Pipe and went past for their rehearsal. AB6 came. Yeah. And we're just Kai's sat there. Dances. Like, this oh, and Kai. Kai. But that was when we left. So, yeah, everyone kept walking past him. We were like, we need to leave. Yeah. We're, we're going to have to find a different way. The man never returned. He never returned. And we were like, we can't. Just we can't waiting. sit in it the whole time. But eventually we left because it was just getting ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and the security who had let us in in the first place were like, what are you doing? Where are you going? And we were like, we can't just stay there. We're going to have to find a different way. And he was like, fair enough. He was also like, thought you were German. Really weird that you're not. Yeah, um, so we were having a bit of... A little bit of banter. Yeah. And then Kai just walks around us after yeah. coming like, off the stage. So that was the end of that. It was weird, yeah. um, um, but we just returned. We eventually did find out where we were meant to go, and yeah. all was well in the world again. All was well, but we, yeah, it was just weird because we were panicking about being lost, mm. and then had the added panic of being sent into the green room. My favorite behind the scenes is at how you pop. We didn't even witness this because we were doing an interview at the time. Mm. So. When we were filming the interviews at How You Pop Fest, it was in a big room with sofas, like two sofas facing each other and like four of them in the room. So obviously it was like interviewers on one side and the interviewees, the idols on the other. Mm. And because of the lighting, the idols were actually sitting um, not by the wall, so kind of by like the corridor where everyone's walking past. Mm. A lot of the journalists were just doing written articles, so I think we were one of the only groups of people that had cameras. Mm. Um, so we were obviously like filming all our interviews, and we were filming one group. While we were filming them, obviously the idols are all very professional, um, and they know what it takes to get a good shot. So one of the groups, who we won't name, one of the group's idol members, did a forward roll behind the group that we were interviewing, <laughs> behind the sofa, so that they wouldn't be seen on camera and they wouldn't get in the shot. Mm. And then the rest of their members followed suit <laughs> and all started doing forward rolls. So there was just a conga line of idols <laughs> forward rolling, rolling out of the out room. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> oh my god. There was just... And we didn't get to see it because they were doing it for our benefit. No, and then one of our fellow journalists was like, so yeah, did you see them rolling out the room? Yeah, we were and like, they told what? us the whole story and we were like, oh my God. So yeah, it's it's very professional of them and it just shows how above and beyond they go. Yeah. <laughs> but Thank also you. very funny. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you to that group. <laughs> Um, also in that same room, um, we didn't get to interview Wannis, which is a shame because we love them yeah like they are one of our favorite groups so it was a shame um but they did all greet us when they came into the yeah, room yeah they were very, very and they polite. were really 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 sweet um and yeah when they were sitting down being interviewed by um someone else um zeon like turned around and he was like yeah like what was that about i don't know well, he like looked over and i was like, like and he was like <laughs> so i was like what do, do we, we want, want to do in 2023? I want to film more like fun videos. We've got like a couple, mm. but I want to do more fun ones with more capability 
of doing like I want like a film crew. Yeah. I want like a I want like a studio. Yes. I don't know how it's gonna happen. No, but. we've got we've got one one ca well we've got two cameras, two tripods, and a ring. One light. camera and a dream. <laughs> <laughs> one one ring two, light. Two, two cameras, one dream. <laughs> I would love to have a f film crew. Let's just put that into the universe, just in case. I want to do a podcast. Yeah. I really want to do a podcast. Um, and there's one that's really obvious. Interview 80s. 80s. If that doesn't happen next year, it will. It will? It's happening. We watch will, this space. Watch this space. We're going to bring you an 80s interview in 2020. I would also love, love, love to interview Treasure. Yes. I would love to yeah. interview Treasure. I had this dream of us doing like a documentary. Ooh. You know, yeah. and I have many ideas for what I want that to look like. And we, yeah. we have had many discussions about like this whole thing that we wanted to do. Like by the time we got to 100k subscribers, this whole journey thing. And that like I still really, really want to do. And to 2023 might be the year. Who knows? I would love someone to trust us to do like emceeing or like hosting. Yeah. I don't know if we'd be awful or not. I don't, yeah. I think we'd <laughs> either like wing it and be great or yeah. wing it and it go terribly wrong. And I don't know which it'd be. So those are the goals. Mm. Oh wow, it's been such a crazy year. It has. I just, I can't believe how much we've ticked off of that. We made like a oh. dream list mm. and we've done like everything on it pretty much. Yeah. Which is so job. weird. Um, so yeah. Thanks 2022. Oh, I know what the goal is. Go full time YouTube. That is the big goal. I don't think a lot of people realise we both have full time jobs. Yeah. If interviews ever take a long time to come out or anything like that, it's because we're working nine to five. Mm. So yeah. Or well, even yes. more sometimes. Like yeah, we've both already got intense jobs, and then plus doing this on the side. Yeah. It's, like, it's a lot. So yeah. Um, but anyway, it would be amazing if we could do this. It would the dream. It's really the dream. Is. It's literally gone dark because we've been talking so much. Yeah. So um, <laughs> thank you so so much for watching, guys. Please in the comments let us know your favourites from twenty twenty two. Your favourite groups, your favourite album, your favourite sing, whatever. Just all your, your favourite. How you doing interview? Oh yeah. yeah. What was your favourite from us? Who do you want us to interview? Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to see from us in twenty twenty three? Let us know. Hope you enjoyed the video, give it a like if you did, and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you very soon. Bye guys! Bye!